What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. In this video we're going to talk about video game related stuff but not video games. So last week I went on eBay and I found one of these bad boys for $65. With $5 shipping it was $70. And what I'm referring to is this mini desktop, this mini PC. This is in fact an HP Elite Desk 800 G3 Mini. What's going on everybody? Beardless Ben from the future. I've been sitting on this video for about a week now, I've been kind of busy, and as I uploaded it today, I realized that plenty of other content creators are making videos about this subject, just different variations. Now, I say that because we don't cooperate, we don't get together, I think we all just follow um, kind of all the same channels, and we see an idea, and we go with it. So I would advise you to check out other channels, their videos about this subject. There's some that are done much better and frankly there are different versions of this product and so you can get a feel of what a little extra $25 here or less or there can get you, um, not just what I picked up. I would suggest Retro Gaming Guy. He has a great video on a mini console and there's a couple others out there. So give him a shot if you'd like. Um, if not, I appreciate you watching this video as always, but hope you enjoy. Now you're probably wondering why I would do that. These bad boys can do some serious emulation. They can play some good games. It's not top of the line, but they can do some awesome stuff that some of my other devices cannot do, and I paid way more than $70 for them. So we're going to get into this. I'm going to show you some specs. I'm going to show you, of course, some gameplay. And uh, if you're like me, you care more about the gameplay, but, you know, there's some enthusiasts out there that enjoy seeing numbers. If you guys like this video, please comment, like it, subscribe even. I am less than 100 subscribers away from having 100 subscribers. That's right, do the math. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So let's do a quick rundown of the system. Once again, this is an HP Elite Desk 800 G3 Mini. Some of the I.O. you have in front is a USB-C port. You have two USB 3.0 ports. You have a headphone and a microphone jack. On the back, you have Ethernet, you have four more USB ports, you have VGA, you also have two display ports. Now the good thing about this is this is DP++, and because it is DP++, I can convert from a display port to an HDMI without any loss. This bad boy right here is $12 at Walmart, you got your HDMI here, you got your display port right here. Now there are different configurations, there are some that were just VGA, DVI, they have some that were just HDMI, but I picked this because I knew that I could use any monitor, whether it's a display port or HDMI cable, it fit just fine, and it works perfect for me. So let's open this bad boy up and I'll show you what comes inside. All right, come on now, this is always a bit tricky. Oh, yep, this is how you record a video, you don't know what you're doing. There's the lock. All right, whew. Like a really cheap Rubik's Cube that no one's ever figure out. Anyway, this is what you got. So, you have two RAM slots. They, this one came with 8 gigs of RAM. I plan to expand to 16. And we also have a 256 gigabyte solid state drive installed. And that's pretty much it. You got built-in Wi-Fi, of course. It comes with a Intel i5-6600T processor that's clocked at 2.71 gigahertz. It also comes with Windows Pro, 11 Pro, and it has the full Microsoft suite. So not only is this thing great for emulation, it's also really good for like a, a, a second work PC, or even better for your kids to have like a school PC. My kids are, are still relatively young, and this thing is plenty for accessing the internet to do assignments for Office to have to do that kind of stuff. This thing would last them for years, and it... $70, what a steal. Because let's be honest, in this household, spending hundreds of dollars on technology, well, that's reserved for video games. So, I hear you. Right now you're saying, Retro Ben, you're giving us a lot of numbers. And numbers are only good for bookies and Rain Man. I understand. So I'm going to put this thing back together, and we're going to play some games. So of course we're going to start out with the retro games which of course play 
perfectly. I mean, a potato with toothpicks for legs can play these games these days. My phone can play these games these days. My refrigerator can play these games, actually. They all play flawlessly. They look good. In fact, you can scale up the resolution quite a bit and make them look really good if you want. I haven't done that with any of these videos. I like to show it how it's supposed to look. But yeah, these play great. And uh, you have a quick little montage starting from NES and TurboGrafx-16 all the way up to the PS1 just to show you how they look. Now here are some GameCube games on the Dolphin emulator. The first one, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. This one's always tricky for a lot of systems to play. Even my powerful high-end gaming computer has some issues with it. It's just, you, you can hear it kind of slows down a bit, but it's still very playable. And this tiny little PC can play it just fine in my opinion. It doesn't stop you from playing a game. There's a couple slowdowns, but as a whole, it's a enjoyable time. Now here's some Dreamcast emulation played on the ReDream emulator. These games play flawlessly. There's no stutter step. There's no audio problems. They look much better with the resolution turned up. Once again, I don't turn them up. I keep them native, but man, do they look good. Yeah, this is not too difficult to run, and because of that, it is a dream to play these games. And here is the Sega Saturn with the Beetle Saturn emulator. Just like the Dream just like the Dreamcast, this system can play it just fine. Looks great. There's no audio stutter. There's no catch up. There's none of that stuff. You don't gotta unclick all the crazy settings to have it play efficiently. It just out of the box plays great. Looks great. Well, it doesn't look great, but this is what we had back then.
And of course, for all you Halo fanboys, we do have the Xbox on the Zemu emulator. And just like with PlayStation and everything else so far, it runs fine. There's no hiccups, there's no audio skips, there's no lost graphics and funky pixels. It looks great. It plays great. This thing can handle any Xbox game you throw at it. We are moving on to some PlayStation 2 games with the PCSX2 emulator. And still going strong, my mini PC, $75 once again, is doing great. This is the greatest console of my generation, and I can play all the games on it. What more could you want? I am very happy to report that this little powerhouse can play PSP games just fine. This is the PPSSPP emulator, and here I am playing God of War Chains of Prometheus, which is considered one of the hardest ones to play with an emulator. And as you can see, it is flawless. I have yet to find any issues. Sounds great. Looks great. This bad boy can handle it. And just when you thought everything was rainbow and sunshine. I'm sorry to say that this thing cannot handle playing Switch games. It's just not powerful enough. But I did not buy it to play Switch games. I bought it for mainly games 2010 and older. So if you can handle this kind of slowdown, go, go for it. By all means, have fun. If not, I'd say don't lose sleep over it. Enjoy everything else. But Switch is a no-go. Well, there you go, folks. There you have it. $70 for something that is so compact and powerful. Now, this thing is so good, I actually take it to work sometimes because I can keep it in my truck, hook it up to a monitor, and just game out when I've got nothing better to do. But, of course, if you work with me, I always have something better to do, so don't read into that. Either way, this is a great little pickup. Now, there are ones on eBay that are a little more powerful. They do cost some more money. I was looking at one that was about 100 bucks, but in the end I realized this was a perfect fit for me. It really did everything I needed it to do. And the higher end systems, ones that didn't play so great, I'm generally going to play them on either the actual hardware or some of my more powerful devices. What do you guys think? Is this something that interests you? Is this something you would pick up or did I waste my money? I would love to know. Go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know. Take some time this week to play some video games. It doesn't have to be emulation. It could be the real deal. It's up to you. As always, folks, be good people, be good to those around you, and keep on gaming.